Hi guys, it's Jessica here for a ball jointed doll box opening video. Um, I <laughs> this box um, it's got names all over it, uh, so I'm gonna keep it down here. Uh, this box arrived last Wednesday, and today is Monday. Uh, but yeah, work has been destroying me, <laughs> and so I just spend the weekend couch confined. Um, and then by Monday I feel a little better and so I do things like take a shower and wash my clothes, uh, uh, but that's about it. Um, uh, but I finally felt good enough that like, okay, I can attempt to make this video. Um, so this is, uh, uh, I had made some hints I think earlier um, that I had a pygmy coming in. Um, so. I've got my other uh, Mary Doll Round Pygmies out over here. Um, let's see, is somebody missing? Um, I think I've got all my Pygmies here. Uh, the only one that's missing is, uh, she's over there, I can't reach her. Um, uh, my iReal Doll, Anoki, she's up there. Um, but uh, yeah, I haven't accomplished a ton as far as doll sewing. I have been doing a lot of crochet uh, and uh, because it's so I can do it sitting on the couch <laughs> or sitting on the porch um, or even in bed uh, and so it is something that's creative that I've been able to work on um, this is probably uh, the one I'm most proud of it is a um, case for this mini and I'm very proud of uh, how this turned out, that there's very little, um, uh, the color transition is very smooth. Um, so I'll show you for example. Um, here is one that I, that I did, uh, and you can see the color transition, see what happens there. So I've been practicing some techniques um, to get better uh, and then I did this one last night that I think turned out really good. The color transition. And this is super tiny thread that I'm using a, um, what size? Uh, usually a two. I'm usually in a size two hook on the American system. Um, and then I also been working on some, or practicing some, amigurumi, amigurumi, um, type thing. So I made these, uh, um, strawberries and I want to practice making them a little smaller. Um, and let's see, uh, this was another, these were, uh, these were another pair that I had was really proud of the transition. It was pretty good. Um, this one, I think you can't see the transition for the color. Um, so I'm pretty proud of that one. Um, and the little tiny charms. That is another thing that I, that I will maybe open in this same video is, uh, I've got some more of these, uh, tiny Tamagotchi resin charms made by Amika Miniatures. Uh, and uh, I love her work so much. Um, uh, so I want to show you those. Those are going to be cool. Um, but let's open this. Uh, so I love the Pygmies. And what I love the absolute most this, uh, this came from Spain, by the way, and it was mailed, I think it took exactly six weeks. I'd figured it out, I'd looked at it. From the day she mailed it in Spain to the day it arrived here last Wednesday, it was like exactly six weeks. Um, and uh, tracking never updated during that time. Um, it never updated. Uh, and <clears throat> I had, I had a um, page uh, in my phone that I had saved, a browser page, uh, USPS tracking, 
and there was probably like nine dolls and doll things that were I had there that I was refreshing and checking at least every day um, well one day uh, it wouldn't load and all of those tracking numbers are lost and so I have to go through all the individual um, messages and find those tracking numbers again so I yeah because I, I, there's things that I've been tracking for several months now um, because they were things that were shipped right when all of the COVID stuff hit and they just didn't move and so <laughs> so this was a surprise when it rocked up uh, because uh, I'd lost my list um, so maybe the tracking did um, okay so now I can show you because I'm on the inside uh, so this is a second hand um, Mary doll round pick me and um, oh, this is beautiful. I don't remember this, a card like this being in, um, the last dolls that I got. Not that I remember. Uh, oh, I just love the little postcards and cards that she includes in things. Um, oh, oh, that's pretty dress. Gorgeous shoes. Um. I have so many doll things that are lost in the ether that I hope materialize. Um, so cute. One of these days I'd like to get one of her little art vinyl figures too. Art toy and design by Nuria Torres and then her Mary Doll Round Ball Jointed Doll website. Um, so there's no certificate of authenticity in there, so I hope it's in the box. Um, but you'll probably know from uh, the title what this is, and um, I did move that over there. But yes. Um, the boxes are so pretty. Lola's down there chewing on her bone. So there it is. Beautiful. I love the boxes so much. Um, so I'm just going to slide this off because I'm going to save it. Um, but yeah, I haven't done any sewing this last month. Um, just sitting on the couch doing crochet and um, to get back into making some corsets because that's the embroidery and stuff is things that I can do. Um, so here I go. And said for you can already tell from the title. So this is Certificate Authenticity, Amethyst, uh, it's a Bunyal Pygmy Line, number 66, Skin Amethyst, Batch, July 2019. Um, I didn't get mine, my original one that I ordered until, <laughs> until September last year. There she is. Oh my goodness. There she is. I absolutely love the fantasy colored um, and so I probably will eventually be on the lookout for another um, aqua dango oh but she's so sweet and I actually really love this face up um, so I ordered or I ordered I, I bought this doll second hand from uh, her Instagram is multifricus and she has a um, uh, she has a it's, uh, she has a Etsy shop sorry I'm, I'm playing with her <laughs> those little joints. 
she has an Etsy shop. Um, and so she, she does sell some not safe for work, female anatomy inspired art. <laughs> so just be warned. Um, but it is, it is well done. Um, but yeah, I love, I really love the, the little delicate, uh, eyebrows she did on this. Um, I would like to get some purple eyes for both of my amethyst bunyols. Um, yeah, so I don't have any special new clothes made for her. Um, I did order some shoes, but again, I, I ordered some shoes almost the exact same time that I bought her. Um, and those have yet to show up um, as well. Oh, she's so sweet. What's in here? Oh, nothing. <laughs> she's got an extra pair of hands. She's got the um, oh, fist hands. Uh, or some people call them, do they call them kitty paws? Um, but uh, I love, I like the hands. Um, I think, I, yeah, I do have one of the kitty paws um but otherwise the hands have been the same through all of the girls uh the same hand options and uh some of i don't know if the newer girls came with them i don't think they did the the original girls came with heeled resin feet um that were that are like in shoes um uh which are really cute uh but i don't think the newer girls have been coming with those there she is. She's so very sweet. Um, but yes, I'm not very prepared. <laughs> uh, I ordered some new underwear. I ordered um, shoes. I ordered uh, a wig, wigs. Um, I've, I've got two wigs made uh, uh, that I'm waiting for from uh, Serendipity. Uh, Serendipity Doll, I think is her name. Um, I have several of her wigs and they're gorgeous. And uh, so I've been waiting for some wigs for her for a long time. Um, one of the wigs she had a lot of problems making, which uh, it, they are, it's a teal color and a specific like purple color that I, I have a lot of wigs with these colors. Um, I tend to order them from different wig makers because they're always a little different. But she she worked on it and worked on it until she nailed those colors. And I know that they're difficult. I know that they're difficult colors that other wig makers have had a hard time getting. Um, so I knew it was going to be fantastic though when she got it done. So uh, she, she did, she figured it out. It's a beautiful wig. Uh, so, and then there's another one that's, um, they're two alpaca wigs. Um, and the other one is uh, like orange colors. Um, uh, so we'll see um, who gets what when they come in. Okay, uh, there was a phone call and kind of lost track of where I was. <laughs> um, but um, these are uh, the fabrics that I got out uh, to make her address with. Um, so some Dupani silk. And then these two uh, cotton prints uh, were sent to me by um, uh, She Collects What, I think is her Instagram username. And I have been saving these to make, uh, they're both gorgeous, the, the, my favorite colors, with gold, uh, uh, to make dresses um, specifically for the pygmies. Um, and so, uh, yeah, um, and uh, I want to make this girl a new dress too. Um, though actually now I really do like the blues in this. They bring out, they complement her lavender skin very well. Um, um, I bet you, I bet you they, I bet you this doll, I bet you they had him that Rumple doll is using fantasy doll because uh, as their caster because those lilac colors are they look pretty identical to me. Um, but yes, here's my uh, other amethyst bunyol, and um, I just love them. 
And I do have another Bunyal on layaway. <laughs> uh, not Amethyst. I will keep it secret what color she is, um, what her uh, resin color is. Um, but there are my two girls. Uh, okay, I'm going to put this away. You know, I think I'm going to put this with my other... I used to always leave the certificates in the boxes, but um, that practice, I don't... I, what if something happens to the box or the box gets misplaced? So I have, for the last couple years, I have been putting all of the certificates in a box um, and I need I need another box or a bigger box because they don't fit anymore um, so there's they're actually the certificates are piling up in the dollhouse over here uh, and I won't show you because it's embarrassing uh, how disarrayed this office is um, uh, my craft room my doll room I have not had the energy or the health to to even think about tackling it, um, which is too bad. Uh, <clears throat> um, I need another quarantine. <laughs> I need another quarantine. Um, but yeah, uh, so my health isn't good and my energy levels aren't good, but I, I feel like I'm, you know, my spirits are good, uh, if that means anything. <laughs> um, I'm, in, I'm in good spirits. Uh, I, my work is hard and it's um, draining, but I feel like I'm appreciated and I think I've mentioned that before. So, but yes, I'm very tired. Let's open these. Uh, these are the Tamagotchi miniatures made by Amika Miniatures on Etsy and Instagram. And these are made out of resin. Um, she sent a little, this is her little card. Um, Uh, and she included this as a gift, and it's so cool. Uh, as you can see, all of the cool kind of, she makes, these are miniature, these are tiny, tiny, tiny. Uh, and so this is a little, let me come off the screen, um, a little tiny miniature pencil case with a real zipper. It's so cool, uh, like, it, that is so awesome. That is so cool. So thank you, dear, for that. Oh, so sweet. Okay. Um, so uh, what? It, she remade. Where is it? Yes, here we go. Okay. So these were. Let me show you this. So this is. Can you see it? Is it blurry? This is the original prop that she made like this the size and the way it looks um and then she made these larger ones um that are for smaller sd dolls um they're i think they're a little on the small side for my twig lanes but they're pretty big girls but for my like people 60 dolls it's the perfect size um so she remade the smaller size um with the new like the crack um the cracked egg appearance so i should just get them out of their little packages um and so i had to <laughs> i had to get one of those and i went ahead and ordered a bunch of the smaller ones um oh my gosh so there is the SD sized one and I have five of those and I want, I want lots more. 
I want lots, lots more. Um, so here, I'll just get one of each out to show. Um, and I think that her prices are really amazing because these are, she, she cast these out of resin, guys, which, and the different colors are different colors of resin. So here we go. There we go. You can kind of see. So freaking cute. I love them. Love them. Love them. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for these, um, Emma. I, oh, I love them. Love them. Love them. Uh, and so for the bigger ones, I've been making uh, these little uh, crochet cases for. Oops. Hi, sweetheart. Her sister is still in the mail, too. <laughs> Still in the mail. Um, so I've made these little cases. Um, and so I got some smaller, tiny, tiny uh, crochet thread. Uh, and um, I'm going to make some tiny cases for the little tiny, tiny ones. Uh, and um, what I want to do, what I want to do is attach it to there so that... <laughs> So that the Tama's Tama has a Tama. <laughs> what I could do is um, I could put one of these here. <laughs> that could be, you know, it's just like Tamagotchi Inception. <laughs> um, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my life right now. <laughs> uh, okay, I have got... Another video that I will make separately, um, it was uh, another thing that uh, was kind of lost in the mail and delayed because of COVID stuff. Um, but there, it's an eye, eye company that actually asked me to, they were, gave me some free eyes, sent me some free eyes uh, with the request that I share it on my social media. Um, and. I uh, definitely will share it on my Instagram, but I, I, I was very, it was very kind of them, so I definitely want to make a video too. So uh, that will be coming up hopefully soon. I want, I hope that I can make that today. I don't know how much room I've got on my phone, and I always have to wait till the next day to load them. Uh, so, but hopefully that will all be coming up soon. And I, whether will be posted before or after this, I'm not sure either. Uh, I made a Tamagotchi vintage haul opening video um, and it's 100% Tamagotchi there's no dolls in it but and I thought about making another channel but I, I'm like no I, I that's too much hassle <laughs> um, so if I'll, I'll put disclaimers that it's a 100% Tamagotchi um, video and if you don't want to watch it then you don't have to you know no obligation you don't have to watch all of my content um, but I did make a, um, a Tamagotchi Instagram, um, and I will kind of reserve that for sharing a million screenshots of my Tamagotchi children growing up. Um, uh, but I will definitely, my main, uh, my main Instagram, I will be sharing like the crochet stuff. Um, okay. Um, so hopefully this baby's wigs and shoes and all of that will be in and I will, <laughs> I will make her new dress. <laughs> Take care, you guys. I hope you're all having, um, a, uh, great week, um, and that you're all staying safe and, uh, that you're employed or, and, or getting aid, <laughs> all of that stuff. So, um, take care. Bye-bye. Okay, just kidding, I'm back. <laughs> I had to, I wanted to take some pictures of her and I went ahead and I stole this dress from uh, my um, cookie skin dango um, <laughs> and, and her wig. And I think it looks incredible on this girl. Um, so.
so she's going to take this for now. And the new Tamagotchi, that's the new one. Uh, the new tiny one with the, let's see, with the um, hatched uh, broken eggshell um, inset area that's a different color of resin. And yeah, oh my gosh. Ooh, yeah, okay. She's awesome. <laughs> She's, this is perfect. This is perfect. Um, and so here are my, my two girls. They've got their little Tamagotchis and they're so sweet. Yes, I love them. Okay. Bye guys.